To say that the 2020 NFL season is different than it has been in years past would be a major understatement. The current COVID-19 pandemic has completely changed the way the league, its players, and its fans will view football this season. However, there's another storyline that has nothing to do with football. Some of the biggest questions going into the start of week one surrounded the current social justice movement. What will players be wearing? Will teams kneel or stand for the national anthem? The answer, a mixture of things. But what is very clear is that this league is no longer staying silent. Chargers and Bengals players wore t-shirts and helmet decals with the name of a victim of police brutality or one of four proof phrases. They also linked arms with teammates at their goal lines during the singing of Lift Every Voice and Sing before joining together and linking arms down the middle of the field during the national anthem. The phrases, it takes all of us, and end racism were painted in the back of each end zone for the Dolphins Patriots game. Players on both teams also wore messages and names of those affected by systemic racism in the U.S. And the Minnesota Vikings hosted the family of George Floyd Sunday, tweeting, quote, the horn will not be sounded today in honor of George Floyd and others who no longer have a voice due to racism. Players and teams express their feelings in a number of ways. But arguably, the biggest statement came at game time when 10 black quarterbacks started in week one, marking the most in a season opener in NFL history.